morning. It's just after 6.30 a.m. I gotta keep it quiet so I don't wake Natalie up. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to take you through an actual day in my life. For as much as I talk about my daily routines, my habits, how I stay productive, I realize that I usually just talk about it. And so in this video, I wanna show you how do I set my deadlines? How do I stay productive during the day? How do I avoid distractions? So this is gonna take you through an entire day. Let's get started. So people are always asking me the different ways that I brew my coffee because I use so many coffee montages in my videos. And I usually use a pour over method, but ever since we moved to Sydney, uh, I've been using this more portable method, which is an AeroPress. It's very phallic looking, but it does the job. Uh, and I also have a portable grinder because I didn't want a big, obviously my big, big grinder with me on the road. The only problem with this one is that it takes a lot of work to grind your beans. Alrighty, so today is Monday, February 22nd. I am just about to get to work here. So typically what I do in the morning is I will open up my to-do list. If I haven't pre-planned it the day before, which I really like to do to help me make sure that I'm, I'm staying productive and on task and I don't waste away my mornings, I will plan out my day, plan out my week, kind of the, the big tasks and the major things that I wanna get done. I like to restrict my most important tasks to just three items. I'll show you guys right now what this looks like so you can get an idea of how I actually plan out my days. So as you can see here, I've actually got quite a bit of tasks here planned for Monday and that's because, well, I've got one personal item mixed in there which is my workout, biceps and back. These two items right here are review items. So they're maintenance tasks. They're things that will probably take me 30 minutes each. Above this, I have my tasks that are gonna take up and consume a majority of my day. So my big goal for today is to write my content strategy lesson, which is a lesson in my upcoming YouTube course. And so that's probably gonna take me three to four hours. Now in my experience, things always take way longer than I expect them to take. Um, I'm always underestimating how long things are gonna take me. And so three to four hours, hopefully I can get it all done today. But if I can't, then I'll just fill the rest of my day with it. I'm not going to move on to the next task. I'm just gonna keep working on that one until I finish it. And then after that, we've got Film and Edit, The Secret Podcast, episode uh, 34. And this is a, a podcast for my Patreon peeps. That'll take a couple hours to film and edit. I've already got that episode planned out, the questions pulled and organized. And so uh, it shouldn't really take too long to work that one through. And then the final big task here is Film Daily Productivity Blog, which is kind of meta because that's exactly what I'm doing <laughs> right now. Uh, but when I'm actually filming these kind of vlog things, it, it really just does disrupt my day. And I mean, as you can see up here, it's 7.50 a.m. I woke up at 6.30. That's because it took me about over an hour to film all those <laughs> opening establishing shots. No, it does not take me an hour to brush my teeth and make coffee in the morning. Uh, I also in the morning, I like to check out my calendar. And so you can see here, I've got one main item. This is primarily where I keep all of my meetings. Uh, and interviews and, and things like that. And so usually I don't schedule that many interviews and meetings, not more than a couple a week. Uh, I really like to keep my schedule clean so I can focus on the most important work to me, which is making videos, working on courses, and all that good stuff. And so right here, I've just got one meeting, which is for the YouTube course with Natalie. Again, it's a very ambitious day, but I'm looking forward to hopefully tackling as much of this as I can. So the one thing I forgot to do this morning, and Natalie's really upset with me, is that I didn't wash my face. I'm not upset with you, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> but I, I found some moisturizer that would be good for you. Thanks honey. I'm gonna go outside and write. Okay. So my goal every day is to get to this point as quickly as possible. 
sitting my butt down and getting to work. There are so many obstacles and distractions and excuses that can get in our way before we get to this point. So the quicker you get here, the better. Your brain is gonna tell you that you need to check email, that uh, you can just put this off until later, but if you can overcome that resistance, sit down and start to do the work, it doesn't take long before you get into a flow state. Hi, Nat. Hi. So Nat and I are gonna have a little impromptu meeting about the at Slow Growth social account. Uh, we are in the middle of doing a bit of a rebrand slash facelift uh, with the design for the social account. And so we need to go through some options that our designer sent us and talk about what we like and what we don't like. So you might already know this, but Nat has been working with me on my business, Slow Growth, for the past year. And since she always keeps Mondays free for personal work, we usually have lots to chat about. We like the um, blend of the more minimalistic posts, so like the Four Small Ways post, this one, mm -hmm. um, against the more rebellious cage rattler posts, like these three. I mean, the thing is, like, if we have more of this, we have a problem to figure out because this currently is not reflective of the kind of content that we write for the platform. All right, so it's 11 a.m. and it's time for my very first meal of the day, which is lunch. Honestly, worse than spiders. For your sake, I am not going to even explain this. Um, how does that look, Nat? Looks <laughs> so I really try my best to make sure that I don't disrupt my day too much. And so yesterday was Sunday. I spent the evening preparing my meals for the next couple of days. All right, here's my lunch meal prep recipe. Listen closely because I'm only gonna say this once. Step one, cook rice. Step two, season chicken. Step three, burn rice. Then undercook your chicken, then overcook your chicken. Cut up fruit. Eat around the apple core. I mean, you don't want to waste. Add to blender. Blend. Pack everything up. And put it in the fridge. So I, I, my meals are, are pretty bland. There's not much to them. It's just chicken and rice and a smoothie, uh, but it really works for me. I, I really enjoy it. It helps me to get all the nutrients that I need, especially before a workout. One of the reasons why I like to eat around 11 or 12 is that way, once I go to the gym at around three o'clock or so, the food has had enough time to digest and, and work its way into fuel for my workout. I'm usually pretty good at avoiding Instagram during the day but during lunch is when I have some intentional distraction time, browsing Instagram and my other social feeds. Hey guys, so real exciting news. I finally grew up and redesigned my website for the first time in like a hundred years. And I used Squarespace to build the website. Squarespace is the sponsor of this week's video. So I thought maybe I'd give you guys a tiny website tour, but also pay the bills at the same time. So let's get into it. This right here is my new website that I built on Squarespace. This cute little animation says, don't worry, I won't ever spam you. I won't, seriously. You can now manage your email list directly through Squarespace, which is really neat. A little further down the page here is my secondary call to action. This is to provide links to all my things. One of the reasons I use Squarespace is because of how easy it is to make changes. If you wanna adjust any photos or text, all you need to do is enter the editor and double click and add anything you want. Further down the page is an adorable photo of me with my coffee maker, as well as my contact info. By the way, please stop emailing me requests for the measurements of my biceps. It's just, it's just super weird. And all the way at the bottom of the page is another call to action for my newsletter, as well as links to my social media accounts. And that is the end of my very tiny website tour. If you wanna get a beautiful website up and running today, Squarespace has tons of templates that are ready to go. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mattdiavella using the link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, and now back to my day.
Alrighty, so I'm jumping back into my lesson script here. I made some pretty good progress this morning. I think that I should be able to get it done in the next hour or two. That might be pushing it. <laughs> it was. I spent the next couple hours or so writing without making a huge dent in the task. So I think one of the big things that I've learned about completing projects is that consistency is key. And to be consistent, you need to set consistent deadlines. And so for my YouTube channel, when I first got started out, I set a deadline of every Monday. So every Monday I would upload a video. Eventually I moved that to Tuesday and Wednesday, but having that consistent deadline every single week really kept me committed. These days I upload a video every other week. Uh, I'm uploading less frequently because I'm trying to focus on my mental health and make sure that <laughs> uploading YouTube videos and, and doing this whole content creator life doesn't drive me completely insane. But I still think even with pulling back, it's important to have a consistent deadline. Of course, you can push deadlines back if you feel like you need to. That's definitely something that I don't take lightly and is something that should be a last resort if you really feel like you need that extra time to make the project or make that video great. But for the most part, when you hold, when you hold yourself to that commitment of following through on the deadline, releasing what you said you were gonna release, no matter what state it's in, uh, you will find the time. We will often fill up as much time as we can leading up to that project, some of us procrastinating, <laughs> but eventually when the deadline comes, we need to know when to release and when to finish and say, okay, that's it. That's the best I can possibly do. Alrighty, so this is impromptu meeting number two. This happens a lot. Uh, but Nat and I are going to be having a meeting now about some content within the course. And so that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's actually really hard to have a damn meeting with this guy because his mind is purely focused on like, wait, have I got the shot? So like halfway through a sentence, I'll be talking. <laughs> and then he'll be like, um, can you say that again from a different angle? And I'm like, no, I thought it's, we were having a conversation. I mean, you know what? Rule number one, get the shot. So, uh, the shot. <laughs> you can't do that. This is Australia. Oh, yeah. No guns allowed. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta take that out. I'm not you gonna take, take that out. No, you have to. I'm actually gonna add. No. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add gun sound effects. No. No. <laughs> so that meeting, uh, it wasn't really that productive. Then I got back to writing for the next 45 minutes or so. After two impromptu meetings with Nat. We're ready for our actual meeting meeting. Nat, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's very hard to name your channel before you know your content strategy. I was thinking the same thing. Very hard. This meeting actually was productive, but towards the end of the day, I was feeling a bit frustrated with my lack of progress and kind of had a mental breakdown. Have you got on a fish eye? Like, I feel like my, why is my head? <laughs> <laughs> Why is your head like, like what that? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I think you need to go to a doctor. So Matt's having a breakdown, which happens oh, about four <laughs> o'clock every day. This is normal. This is normal for us. Just questioning life in general. Why does it always feel like we're running out of time? You have eyelashes all over your eyes. Blow. Right. What did you wish for? A better life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I said I was gonna like do uh, these five things this morning and like I just completely I think underperformed in terms of my expectations But this happens all the time like every day This is what like leads people to burnout is because like you work your ass off all day And then you realize like I didn't get halfway where I expected to be And collaboration takes time yeah. But I think that's why like you just have to push things and like you have to you have to actually have cutoffs and boundaries and that's why right now I'm gonna go to the gym because I'm like I have to actually work out and then we're gonna go to the beach and then we are gonna go to the beach gotta do it, Time for it. priorities all right so my work day is wrapped up uh, and I'm about to head to the gym it's 4 p.m. right now yeah so let's just go through this to-do list uh, to, to see what we got done here you know I did write my content strategy lesson I didn't finish it and so I'm gonna mark that as checked off and then I'm gonna add it to Wednesday write content strategy lesson <clears throat> and then I'm gonna move I'm just gonna delete that one so now that's what I'm gonna finish on Wednesday and I'm gonna move this here podcast to Wednesday film daily vlog Check, did that, and I did these two. So I did review all these important items. 
about to do biceps and back. Um, this is literally probably the most accurate day in the life that I possibly could have put together. I hope that it shows you guys just how messy life gets, even for somebody like myself who knows a lot about productivity and habits and, and building effective routines. Um, you never really know what you're gonna get into. You're always gonna be terrible at predicting how much you can get done in a day. That's just part of the process. You just have to keep working and keep pushing forward and do the best you can. It wouldn't be a real day in the life if I didn't take you through the entire day. So, what do I need? Do you want something good or something fresh? <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Came up empty, so I'm gonna give you something good. Do you wanna hear my new bait or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beat? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've like officially lost your mind. <laughs> All right, so we're done at the gym, heading back to the apartment. Are we gonna go to the beach? Um, what do you reckon? I reckon, yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Ah. Thanks, thanks for carrying <laughs> literally everything. I had to start importing some of these files. You can see right here, boom, this is the the card reader. So I've filled up now two and a half, 256 gigabyte cards. <laughs> uh, about 600 gigabytes worth of footage in one day of vlogging in 4K with the Canon EOS R5. So that just gives you an idea of the amount of storage and space that uh, is required for this. So I've got a little bit of work to do yet to like just get these files compressed. So that way tomorrow everything's ready for me to start editing. Uh, in the fridge. Ah, oh, smart move. You gotta put them in the fridge. I need the garlic. I was like, I don't know where the garlic is. I've never used the garlic. Oh, look at that. That's like healthy. Mm. It's been a while. Really mm. good. This is exactly what I needed after my workout. You wanna see it on the inside? Packed with flavor. So I think we have a change of plans actually. It is looking rainy outside. It is raining outside. Do you think so? Yeah. I don't think it's actually raining. Do you not want to go? Dude, it looks grim out there. This is literally every shirt that I own has this massive hole <laughs> in the armpit. You've probably seen it, but I have had this stain on my shirt the entire day which is super embarrassing. I think maybe it's about time for some new shirts. Before dinner, Nat and I caught up on some quality time together. So because Nat and I have such a small kitchen here in Australia, we decided to sign up for a meal plan service called Eat Fit Food, which has been really great. They deliver fresh food. I think it's, what is it? Two times a week? Two times a week. And so that has been really great and that's what I'm microwaving right now. So as you might know, my one habit that I'm trying to build this year is to read more books. It's a habit that I've broken as of the past few years and it's been really great to get back into it. I'm now on my fourth book of the year, which is my first fiction book of the year, Where the Crawl Dads Sing. A uh, really beautiful book, an amazing book. It is really renewing my love of fiction. And so this is definitely not gonna be the last fiction book that I read this year. I'm almost done with it. I've got about like, I think like 10, 15 pages left. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably finish up this book tonight and then go to bed and then that's the end of the day. So yeah. Good night, Bubbles. <laughs>